kind of terrible lighting, I might refilm this, um, to do kind of the intro for my reading challenge vlog for March. I am filming this super early at the beginning of February because my book mail showed up. So what I did was I found three reasonably priced book boxes. They're all blind. And I am going to open them and read them and kind of give you a little bit of idea of why I picked these. Uh, the first one is through the book drop. This is uh, based out of, I think it's Delaware, or that, that does kind of these book subscriptions. Um, again, super reasonably priced, like under $20, and I think it was $10 to $15 for me to uh, pay for, for shipping for it. Um, this one actually has a really neat feature where you can skip the month, uh, which I quite like because I don't really necessarily need a new book every month. Um, and this is the one that arrived most recently, so I'm just going to open it up and let you know. One thing that with this one that I liked is they do like eco-friendly packaging, so everything should be recyclable and is made out of recycled materials. So you got all the little insert stuff here. The book that they sent me is uh, Not My Boy by K Kelly Simmons. It looks like it is a mystery thriller, and this author specifically has visited the bookshop where that sends out the book drop. And they, although I will not read these till later, it also gave me a sheet of kind of book club questions, which is exciting. If we have time, I might delve into them. Uh, I personally um, do enjoy many thrillers, so I'm pumped for this one. I have heard of the author before, but I've never read any of her stuff. I'll include a link for the website um, in, the in the comment box below if anybody's interested. My next one comes in this very pretty packaging. This one is um, a blind date with a book that I ordered off of Etsy actually. Um, again, reasonably priced, kind of like $15 to $20, $10 to $15 shipping. Um, this one has some little goodies in it as well. Oh, these are so cute. It has some little pencils and erasers, which is fun. It comes with a gorgeous little bookmark. Um, you can choose a cheaper option that's just a book. Uh, but I chose the option that came with a bookmark. It's a beautiful little bookmark. I'll be pumped to read it, or to use it. I don't really have any. Uh, one of mine is from an old uh, book subscription that I no longer get. And it is very well loved, so I do need some new ones. And it is beautifully wrapped, which I love. This is just gorgeous. And she just sent a little thank you card. Oh, this sounds interesting. The uh, lady who does it just included a little greeting for me. It says, meet your blind date with a book. It's a beautiful collection of short stories and memoirs. And I have to be honest, I love short stories and memoirs. So, And this is the book I got. Uh, the Sadness of Beautiful Things by Simon Van Bui, or Boy. Um, this is just a original short fiction that reveals the innermost lives of everyday people. Um, I have found recently that I do really enjoy short story anthologies, so this is really exciting and I'm pumped to give it a shot. And all of the packaging there was gorgeous. Um, again, I'll include a link for this for May's Etsy shop below for those, anybody who's interested. And then the last one I got is Now in Books. Um, this one was the most expensive, but it gives you a couple things and typically gives you a hardcover new release. Yeah, which uh, the other ones did not have. They were both paperback and a little bit on the smaller side, which is totally in line with the price I paid, but I'm really glad, happy with them, and the little goodies that came with them, and the little information sheets. Another thriller, Take It Back, by Kia or Kaya Abdullah. 
So another thriller, which is exciting. And the fun thing um, about this is they include a couple things that'll kind of increase your immersion in the book. So um, like I have a little QR code. I have a book club guide, fun little word search, a list of the cast, potential discussion questions for said book club st stuff. And then the part I'm most excited for um, is when I scan that QR code I showed you, it gives you a curated list of music to listen to while you're listening to while you're reading the book. And it's just to they curate this music list that fits the book and what it's about and which part each part is about. And so I thought I'm somebody that really likes listening to stuff in the background while I'm reading. So I was really excited for that. And I think it would um, it'll end up being a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I will see you much, much later uh, when it's actually March. Hey, guys. It's Nikki. This is my first check-in with you guys for my March reading vlog because I've been super lazy and it's five days into March and I'm just starting getting to these books. The first one I'm going to pick up is from my Spellbound reading book, uh, Blind Date with a book that I got, and that's The Sadness of Beautiful Things. It's a short story anthology that was highly recommended by the gal who runs the Spellbound Reading Shop. Again, as I mentioned in the intro, I will have a link below for that for anybody who's interested in checking it out. It was cute wrappings, really cute package, and it, the quality of the book was phenomenal. So I'd highly recommend you guys checking it out, and I'm excited to see uh, what the contents of these short stories are. And if I remember right, it sounds like it'd be like deeply emotionally impactful. And with that, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys. Sorry for the crappy lighting. It's in the morning, uh, two days after I talked to you in the last clip. So I was super optimistic that morning, and I was hoping to read before my shift started, and I was hoping to read on my breaks, but we ended up being short-staffed, so I got called back to the other hospital where our main lab is. And so I ended up working there, and we were actually reasonably reasonably busy. We had a couple um, fine needle procedures that I had to attend. And then with my regular screening, I just ended up not being super motivated on my breaks to read, <laughs> which happens. People are sick. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, Saturday, I read one short story before I started my day, only because I went for a social distance walk with my mom. And then we went to a hot dog roast in my parents' backyard for my sister for her birthday. So, again, all nice and social distance with masks since, although our area's numbers are going down, <laughs> they're not where I would feel comfortable doing stuff otherwise. It was a lot of fun. And then we came home and immediately started our Saturday afternoon evening gaming with our friend. Uh, so, again, just the one story. Um... I did read some after work Friday, which is when I talked to you last on the last clip, and that's gotten me to two or three books in. It's short, it's quick. These are very just like sweet and wholesome and just very intriguing. Um, they're very well written. They're snappy. Uh, the pacing so far has been pretty good. None of them have grabbed me like a five out of five story, but they've all been pretty good. So I will leave it there. I will hopefully read some more today. Uh, maybe I'll check in with you tonight. It depends. Today's another busy day. Um, Sundays are brunch and then gaming all day with um, my husband and my dads. Um, as they're both video gamers too. So uh, we'll see if I have some time at the end of the day. If not, I'll talk to you another day in the week, probably tomorrow. And I will uh, see you in the next clip. Hey guys. I just got out of the shower. I know I realized I hadn't updated you. So you get to see post-shower, pre-get-ready Nikki. Um, so I read more of The Sadness of Beautiful Things. Um, you can see I'm a little bit farther in than I was last time I talked to you. I'm still really enjoying the stories. They are very, very short and very, very quick. This isn't a very big book. And again, I'm st like, none of these are like jumping out as me as new favorite reads, but this is a very well-rounded book and I'm really enjoying what I'm reading so far. Um, I do have a bit of a busy day today. I have a massage appointment. I have to drop off a baby gift for a friend who recently had a kid. And other than that, I really just, I'm going to be reading, I guess. Like, 
I'm busy. <laughs> the first day of a week and a half holiday that I had to take. Um, I'm pumped that I have it. A little bit sad because this was supposed to be um, my, my husband's honeymoon to Japan. <laughs> but, say la vie. Uh, so I'm now having a staycation in COVID and I will check in with you guys again once I probably finish this guy and maybe pick up the next one. Peace. I have read more of the books. I finished The Sadness of Beautiful Things a couple days ago. It has been two or three days since I talked to you last. Um, I was busy playing video games. And uh, I had started reading uh, Not My Boy the day after I filmed my last clip. And about 80 pages in, I was getting, like, preemptively angry at characters in the story, so I put it down for a couple days and picked it up this morning and finished it. Um, it wasn't a terribly long book, about 230 pages, so I didn't have much left to read. I ended up going through it. I think I have to think about this one a little bit. Um, whereas The Sadness of Beautiful Things, I ended up enjoying it. It wasn't, like, a five-star read, but I enjoyed every single short story. With Not My Boy, uh, which is the book I got from the book drop box, um, it was a, it's more like a mystery than a thriller, which I wasn't entirely expecting. I thought it was going to be a lot more high stakes. Um, not to say that the things that happened in it weren't bad, but it didn't feel like the traditional thriller feels. While I enjoyed the rhythm to the writing, and I enjoyed the characters, I guess I wasn't a huge fan of the story, um, but those are just kind of my initial thoughts on the end of the book. I'm going to do a more of a review at the end and kind of give you a few more, some more specific information and a little more specific rating than I wasn't crazy about it. So the last book I have then for this vlog is uh, Take It Back, which is from the Now in Books box where they have a curated music list to go with the book, which I'm excited to start because I've really been into listening to music while I read lately, and I'm excited to see how it lines up with the story. With that, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. I'm not going to do my peace sign because I'm holding my new microphone to try it out. Hey guys, Nikki. Uh, sorry if this sounds a little off. I'm using the condenser mic again. Um, however, I am updating you guys here with my March reading challenge. I have been enjoying it so far. Uh, the first book, The Sadness of Beautiful Things, was pretty good. Um, this, uh, from, book from the book drop, I mean, it was alright. I got, I was getting preemptively angry at some characters that turned out to be a non-issue, but it was, it was alright. And then this one take it back. Um, this is the one that's from Now in Books. I'm about to sit down and start it. I'm going to throw up the curated Spotify playlist that this box provides to, with the books. Um, I'm really excited to start and then to mix it up a little bit. You guys will see a video on this too, Carrying Albert Home. I've already put the announcement video up for it. It's my book of the month for my virtual book club video and I don't know. Sorry about the beep. That's breakfast. Um, I'm not really going to say anything here other than that I'm picking it up to read it along with Take It Back. Uh, I have the whole day this Saturday to read, so I'm hoping it'll go good. Talk to you guys in the next video. All right, so I'm checking in again twice in a day. What a treat. Uh, I am still reading Take It Back. I'm about 100 pages. I'm still reading Take It Back. I'm about 100 pages in now. And I am very much enjoying the playlist. It's a really interesting eclectic mix. Um, I realized halfway through that uh, <laughs> Spotify's on shuffle right now, so I'm not listening to, to them in order. I'm going to have to restart the playlist in order. But the songs have been really good. Um, I think a few of them have actually ended up with where they were supposed to in the book. So I think it does add a lot to the atmosphere, and it would add more if I just didn't have it on shuffle. Um, I'm going to have to put it down for a little bit. Um, this is a very tough read. Um, big, big trigger warnings for rape, sexual assault, bullying. Um, it's it's going to be, it covers a lot of really hard topics. 
and I'm interested to see how it plays out. Um, the main character you follow, Zara, is East Indian, and she's had a falling out with her family due to how she broke away from them, and they've been estranged. And then this girl, um, part of her kind of breakaway from her family was also her leaving her job as a lawyer to work at a sexual assault referral center. And that's where she meets uh, this young girl who's accusing these four boys of rape. There's evidence that goes both ways, and I'm interested to see how it plays out. And I'm, in, I'm really rooting for the main character, Zara, because she seems to have something she would, needs to deal with, but she seems like a nice person at her core, so I'm really hoping that, like, shit kind of sorts itself out. I don't know if I'll check in again while I'm reading this or if I'll wait till I'm done, um, but I will talk to you guys in the next clip to update you on the rest of it. Hey guys, I'm doing a third check-in on the same day because I finished the book because it's short. Um, I'm not going to give my full thoughts because that'll be super spoilery, but this, as I explained, was covering a lot of topics. And honestly, for how short this is, I think the short page count ended up doing a big disservice to what the stories that the author was trying to tell. There was so much going on that the narrative felt a little, like, all over the place. And the main character, the farther you get into the book, the more of a hot mess she comes off of. And... I had mentioned in a previous clip I kind of wanted a bit of a redemption for her. This isn't the first in the series, so it might still happen. But I didn't get as much of it out of this book as I would have liked. And there was just... I've spent like the last half hour discussing this with, book with my husband. He has not read it. He's just listened to me rant about it. We had a very interesting conversation about religion and community and how that affects things and how going outside of it ostracizes you in a way that um, other communities doesn't don't always. I found our conversation about it really great um, because of how frustrated I was by what was being shown in the book. And yeah, I'm not entirely satisfied with the story. Um, I want to sit on this before I do my final review of all three books to kind of give you an idea. I'll just see you guys in the very last clip where I summarize my reading experience. Peace. I'm here today to do my final wrap up for my March reading challenge. I'm going to talk about the quality of the book and then a little bit and in terms of the book box and then I'm going to give you a brief lowdown on my thoughts because I know I wasn't super clear about a lot of these during the vlog. Especially the last one. I definitely needed some time to think about it. So I'm going to start with the first one. Uh, I got this from an Etsy, so Etsy shop called Spellbound Reading, run, and it's run by May. Uh, this was the cheapest of the options I picked, and I ended up doing the upgraded option where I got a handmade bookmark with it as well, which was very pretty, very high quality. It is now my favorite bookmark. So the book, onto the book itself, uh, The Sadness of Beautiful Things by Simon, Simon Ben Boy. It came and was in great condition. Um, you could tell that even though it was a blind box and I only gave um, May my age, that there was a great deal of care taken in terms of the quality of the book that was sent. Uh, it came, no dents or bumps, nothing. Um, just really, really great condition and I was very impressed with it. And it, with this one, <laughs> with this uh, blind date with a book, the, I remember at the beginning, the packaging was very sweet, very cute, very wholesome, and the bag that, even the mail bag that she sent it in was just a very adorable pattern. Aesthetically, this is probably one of my favorite of the three uh, books in terms of the wrapping that came. I definitely recommend this one. Um, I believe uh, the store on Etsy is based out of Maryland. I'll include a link below for the Etsy store as well. On to the book. This is a short, collect a short collection of short stories. Um, there weren't too, too many in there. They were all very, 
evenly paced, very interesting. There was a little bit of everything. Um, this is the culmination of stories told to the author mixed with little bits of fiction he put in there as well. And it ended up with a bunch of sad but beautiful stories, I guess. They were all very wholesome. The last one was the only one that was overly heart-wrenching to me. It was also the longest. And it was just very sweet and slice of life. But there was always like a little bit more going on than you came to expect from the beginning. Um, well, none of the stories were five star reads. Uh, the book overall was about four star, four to five stars for me. The mix of stories were kind of three and a half, four stars. Nothing and none of them were stories I didn't like. Um, if you enjoy contemporary stuff but don't want to commit to a long book, I would recommend something like this. It's just a bunch of, bunch of sweet, wholesome stories. All right, next I'll move on to the book I got from The Book Drop. Uh, the Book Drop is an on, an independently owned bookstore who does the on, does this online book drop, um, book subscription as well. They have a variety of categories. It's like bubbly, um, coffee, tea. Then they, they also have a couple more that I don't remember off the top of my head that were for younger readers. I will include the link for their website below if you guys are interested in checking them out. Again, this one wasn't overly pricey. The book itself was in very good condition when I got it. I have a few little bumps and bruises on it now just because I've dropped it while I've been reading it because I'm a bit clumsy. But the book itself came in really great condition. Um, I believe this is a newer release. This is a new release for this author. And then there were a few inserts I wasn't necessarily expecting. You got a very kind of, you got like a small kind of paper cardboard uh, bookmark, but then there also were, and there was an insert for other new releases in this month. But on top of that, there were um, a few other inserts I wasn't really expecting. Uh, one of them was book club questions and kind of things to think about if you're going to use this book for a, a book club circle with a group of friends, which I really appreciated. It also gave you an insert about the author and an kind of extended an invitation to join a chat with the author that they were going to host at the bookstore that you could turn into virtually, I believe. Those two things really surprised me. I wasn't really expecting it. It was really nice. It was a very nice bonus, um, given that this wasn't a particularly expensive drop um, book box. Uh, the book drop also um, is striving to be more eco-friendly, so they use a lot of recycled material and they do their best to minimize their carbon footprint when sending books for the subscription. Yeah, they were both more lean book boxes and I certainly have no complaints in terms of quality and what I got and the book itself was pretty good, which I'll tell you a bit about. I can't remember if I mentioned it on camera, but I got about 50 pages in here and I was getting preemptively angry at how the people were gonna treat this strange child who it, people are thinking must have harmed a younger girl who went missing shortly after the boy and his mother moved in. But it's really, it was a very strange book. It was definitely a little bit more mystery than thriller, which I wasn't expecting. But a young boy and his mother moved in next door to her sister. And during the course of things, they're trying to figure out what happened. They, the two sisters are at odds but then kind of end up uh, looking into the situations themselves um, as well because the one sister is trying to clear her son, the other sister is trying to clear her husband, and it's just a very weird situation that I wasn't quite expecting. Um, I did feel like the, a couple of the twists were just there for the sake of being twists, one was very strange, but I think it added a lot of depth to the character. It was about... This definitely isn't a book I would have picked for myself, but again, it's a blind book box. And it was in the mystery thriller genre, which is fine. These, they're hit and miss for me. And overall, I did end up enjoying this book. It's about a three and a half out of five stars. And I really don't want to say too much more because... 
Um, if you enjoy books like this, you'd probably enjoy that. And as I forgot to mention, the book is largely from the mother of the young boy's perspective, and you meet, and then you also get a little bit of a perspective of her mother, so the boy's grandmother. It's just very strange, not quite what, quite what I was expecting, but because of how the back is worded, I ended up getting really wound up. Again, just getting preemptively angry about situations that could possibly arise that ended up not arising. So, interesting book. Not sure I'd recommend it, but it was a good read. And now, I'm gonna go to Take It Back, which is the book I got from Now in Books. This was the most expensive and, like, flashy book box that I picked up. Uh, what I really liked about it is that it came with a QR code for a Spotify playlist, which I really enjoyed because I have been getting back into listening to music while I'm reading and the playlist that they give you is curated specifically for the book you're reading. It's going to be a little bit in, it's going to talk, relate in terms of tone, it's going to relate in terms of content, so what the song is talking about is could be a similar situation in the book and I ended up really enjoying it and just kind of discovering a few new songs that I definitely added to my liked list. Uh, the book itself is a, definitely indicates where the some of the extra money went. This is a hardcover. It is a new release hardcover. And it's very good quality. Um, I had no complaints about about it when I received it. There were no dents. There was very, it was very clearly a new book. And it has held up in terms of me reading it and dropping it because I'm a smidge clumsy. The rest of the box um, I also enjoyed. On top of that QR code I mentioned with the playlist, they had a couple other inserts. Um, one was a bunch of like book club questions, which I remember thinking I was going to ask, but I don't know where that sheet is anymore, so we're not going to do it. Also included lists of other books I might enjoy, uh, movies I might enjoy, and TV series I might enjoy if I specifically liked this book. And although it was a little bit more than the other two and had a little bit more going on, uh, I still definitely think it was worth worth the money for me, especially and most specifically because the playlist just really hit, like it really struck a chord with me and it really, really improved my overall experience of reading the book. It was my least favorite book <laughs> that I got out of these blind boxes. Um, it's about a two and a half out of five. There were some aspects I really liked. Um, there's, there are some courtroom scenes that I really enjoyed. Um, however, I really struggled to stay in Zara's point of view. Zara is the main character. Um, she always came off as very unprofessional and I just really struggled to connect with her character in any way. Um, her current work, which is working as an advisor and advocate for people who are referred to a sexual assault center, um, I just, she didn't exhibit the traits that I would necessarily want to be representing me in that kind of situation. I understand that she was doing good and I did admire her for that. Um, the situations that she, this book talks about is there is a girl with a physical uh, facial deformity due to a genetic issue and she's claiming that these four boys uh, raped her and the big issue here is the four boys that are accused are also Muslim boys. And so, and then it ends up not just being a conversation about rape, but it also ends up becoming a conversation about racism and Islamophobia. And in general, I did appreciate what the book was trying to do with these things. I, I mean, some of the Islamophobia stuff really set my teeth on edge. However, I can really admire about the book that it was trying to tackle so many things. It just ultimately, I think, hindered it overall. It was about 100 pages too short for what I would have liked, given all the topics it was trying to tackle. 
and I really wish we'd had the, an extra 100 pages or the focus had been a bit more narrow. My enjoyment of the book isn't a reflection on the quality of the box I received. Uh, I really liked the quality of everything I received and all the inserts, it's just this book wasn't for me. And that's it. That's all. I'm not gonna say too much more because I don't want to spoil this book for you guys if you're wanting to pick it up. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Uh, comment below if you have read any of these books or have specific questions about any of these book boxes and would rather reach out to me than, than um, use the links below to the sites for the companies that do this. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.